Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome in. And just as the video title says, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my new 2019 desktop setup. And there's a couple of reasons why I'm making this video. It's not just to show off uh, my desktop that I really enjoy putting together and crafting and worked so hard over the past several months to put together. Um, it's also to hopefully answer some questions for people who are trying to build their own workstation, their own desktop for whether it be gaming or work. Um, so, you know, if, especially if you're trying to be a content creator, if you're trying to put together a workstation that allows media production and video editing, you know, I'm hoping that this video can uh, not just answer some questions, but hopefully spark some ideas as you are planning and gathering more and more equipment for your own studio. So without further ado, let's get started. And also, if this is your first time here, my name is Harji, and if you enjoy videos on PC tech and gaming, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. All right, so this is my latest command center where I pretty much spend most of my time working, editing, filming, gaming, and fapping. I'll give you a rundown on all my tech gear and the reasons why I chose some of these things. I'll also have links in my description below to the equipment described in this video in case you wanted to get anything for your own setup. I'll start off with the monitors because typically monitors are the centerpiece of every setup since they are usually the first thing your eyes get drawn to. Now I'm running dual XF270 HUAs by Acer or XF270 HUs depending on where you look. The HUAs are supposedly the newer versions of the HUs, but some places have these two names mixed up. Anyways, they are 27 inches at 1440p resolution, 144 hertz, 4 millisecond gray to gray response time, IPS panel, and AMD FreeSync for roughly $370. US dollars, in my opinion, was the perfect budget monitor that could game and do media editing with accurate 8-bit color reproduction. I originally wanted to go with one ultra-wide monitor because I wanted a simple setup and minimal stuff on my desk. However, over much thought, no matter how big your monitor is, if you are a gamer who multitasks with alt tabbing like me, you really should get multiple displays. Even having a single ultra wide monitor feels like I'm still trying to cram everything in one screen and it just didn't feel right to me. Not only that, dual 27 inch monitors at 16 by 9 aspect ratios actually gives me more real estate at a lower price than the ultra wide 21 by 9 monitors that I was considering. Now, with this setup, I'm able to spread my Adobe Premiere editing windows across much more efficiently, especially when I constantly have to zoom in and out of crazy details on my timeline that's hard to see. The monitors are Visa mounted on separate single arm stands by Vivo. For my audio solution, I decided to switch to a soundbar instead of dual speakers. This is the Katana by Sound Blaster X from Creative Labs. It's a 5 base driver system that supports 7.1 surround sound, RGB lights to make my desk nice and spicy for Netflix and chill, really strong bass for movies and music, and clear crisp sounds for gaming and general use. I went with the soundbar because it was one piece of hardware instead of two, like my old red Luna Eclipse speakers. Now, as I mentioned before, I wanted less equipment. And because of how my dual monitors are set up, it would have been an awkward placement with dual speakers. The speakers would have either been in front, partially blocking my monitors, or behind the monitors. Now, in my case, only one speaker would have been behind and the other speaker would have been open between my PC and my main monitor, which is not a pleasing setup in my opinion. So far, the Katana Sound Blaster X has been a great experience for me. My peripherals are the low profile K70 by Corsair and the SteelSeries Sensei 310. The K70 has been my favorite line of keyboards for a long time, and the newly released low profile version has been a good upgrade from the standard, in my opinion. Now as for the Sensei 310, I personally have not found a better mouse that fits me and it's probably going to be my main driver for a long time. The mouse pad is a large extended plain white mat from Amazon and I've had this for almost 4 years. It's still in excellent condition and it's super easy to take care of. Next up is the PC itself, the mothership. 
Now, since I do media productions and video editing, it's very important that I have hyper threading. So I went with an i7 processor with Intel and it's the i7-8700K CPU. And because I'm also a gamer, at the time of building this PC mid last year, I picked an MSI 1080 Ti Gaming X and this thing is an absolute beast. As for the other components, the motherboard is a Z370 MSI Gaming M5. It's got 32 gigabytes of 3200 Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, Corsair H100i liquid cooler, and the AF120 and 140mm case fans also by Corsair. The braided cables are from Cable Mod, which are for my Corsair HX750i Platinum rated power supply. Yes, I know there is a lot of Corsair stuff in my build. Now for storage solution, my main drive is the Samsung 960 Pro 512GB M.2, where I have my OS and important software installed. My Samsung 860 Pro 1TB SSD for all my games and a 2TB Western Digital Black Series for the hard drive for my mass media storage. When it comes to storage, I honestly only trust Samsung because I do feel like they are the best when it comes to SSD and M.2 technology. Then Western Digital and Seagate would be my top two choices for mechanical drives. Now all of this is housed in my white NZXT S340 Elite case. Now for the furniture is the white 4 unit Alex drawers with the 79 inch Linmon tabletop from Ikea. Now I'm sure most people have seen this before because it is probably the most common desk setup for desktop builds, but also for a very good reason. This minimalistic design provides plenty of storage utility and a ton of space to work with. However, with this desk combo, IKEA recommends you get a table leg to put in the middle for support since the table is so long, assuming that most people want their drawers set at the two ends. Now personally, I didn't like how the third penis leg in the middle looks, so I decided to move my drawers in a bit closer to each other and hey, problem solved. And yes, I also installed LED strips to the back of my table to give it that nice glow. You can control it with a remote as well. And something I learned about installing LED strips from a mentor of mine is that uh, most people don't actually use a diffuser and they just slap lights bare onto whatever surface they're working with. Now, I personally don't like this because the LEDs will just give a patchy and spotty look when you turn them on against the wall. Now, if you have a diffuser, it makes the light appear smoother and more uniform across the beam. However, if you are intentionally going for that spotty look, hey, by all means do your thing. But here's an example of what I'm talking about. Inside my PC, I have an LED strip to give some lighting since I don't have any crazy RGB fans and lights. As you can see, it's quite spotty compared to the LED strips behind my desk that is placed inside a diffuser. With cable management, I made sure to tuck in every cable I could out of sight to the best of my abilities using J-channel raceways, cable hooks, and zip ties. Now all of my cables are plugged into a surge protector which is put inside a cable management box that I got from Amazon as well. There are several different designs of cable boxes and I just chose the one that matches my wooden floors and white walls. This cable management box sits to the right side of my desk on the floor. Up against the wall are my acoustic foam which I bought from Amazon. They are 12 by 12 inches and 1 inch thick. They don't really give a huge difference in terms of reducing reverberation because I don't have enough of them around my room. Most of it really just comes down to aesthetics to be honest. You really need more of this to actually notice a difference in sound quality for your recordings. Now aside from my desk, I feel like another important set piece is my YouTube couch. It's been in uh, most of my YouTube videos so far, and this couch is from Ikea. It's the Solsta couch. It's discontinued. They don't make it anymore. I really like it. It's super comfortable, and I do plan on taking care of it for as long as I can because it's one of the very few couches that I can find that fits in my room the way it does without taking up too much space. Now one way that I do plan on taking care of it is getting a slipcover uh, from comfortworks.com. Now this place, they make, they're a small business based out in Australia. They make custom slip covers for couches and sofas, even for discontinued products that aren't in production anymore. So if you guys do have a furniture, like a couch or sofa that you really love and you want to take care of it and give it like, you know, a second life, 
uh, check them out. Um, they make really high quality slip covers and you can choose the different fabrics and colors. You can even order fabric samples before you make your purchase. And I highly recommend getting samples first because the thing with, you know, when you're ordering clothes and fabric online, colors that you see on your screen is not, usually, typically is not um, the same when you see it in person. So anyways, they're a great company. They do a really good job in what they do. So check them out. Speaking of desktop setups, aside from equipment, I also want to talk about ways that you can decorate your setup or your studio and room with Displate.com. Displate.com is a website where you can order awesome artwork from thousands of different artists that are printed onto metal posters. Now you can get these metal posters and browse by genres like cartoon, anime, superhero, gaming, um, abstract art, geography, landscape, motivational quotes, uh, cars, you know, there's a bunch of different options. So definitely check them out. They make high quality metal posters. And I also have an affiliate link in my description below. If you guys want to order, I also have a discount code, 10% off, hard 10 Use that code if you guys want to get yourself some really cool posters. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions to make my desktop better, or if you guys have questions for me to help make your desktop better, throw them in the comments and let me know. If you guys um, you know, enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel really helps, and thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.